Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon. Four MLAs of Paul Bound, Mikalia HM Shangbliang, Samuel Sangma, Ferlin C.A. Sangma and Benedict Merak today joined the Bharatiya Janata Party in New Delhi in the presence of the NITA convener and Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanda Biswa Sarma. Shangbliang has shifted allegiance to the BJP from the AITC while Benedict Merak and Ferlin C.A. Sangma are among the NPP legislators in the state. Samuel Sangma was an independent MLA before joining the BJP today. Samuel was earlier aligned to the UTP as an associate member. All these parties, NPP, BJP and UTP are constituents of the ruling Mekalia Democratic Alliance. However, they are going to contest assembly election early next year as separate entities. The 8th edition of the e Naga Summit 2022 was held today, December 14, at the Directorate of IT&C in Kohima. The Department of IT and Communication, in collaboration with Indoor British Business Forum, United Kingdom, organized the event. Addressing at the program, the advisor for IT and Communication Science and Technology, Mulumo Kikon, said, the summit was envisioned to build the foundation required to identify the existing gaps, incubate ideas and device solutions specifically in digital services and opening up of investment opportunities in the state of Nagaland. It also aims to explore, promote and facilitate all possible investment opportunities for development in the state, the advisor said. Kikon said that the state of Nagaland has a vision to make Nagaland the next IT hub of Southeast Asia and today's state has enabled 47 e-services through the e-district project. We will ensure that we reach the district capital uh, headquarters within a span of three to four hours. So connectivity is improving with the investment. Rome was not built in a day. And uh, in the past, the state has been neglected majorly. But after Prime Minister Narendra Modi came, every corner of Nagaland is being connected. We are also a state where we have seen you know, uh, the success of uh, a water connection to every household. Uh, it's very high. Now, in the past, uh, there were difficulties and challenges in that sector as well. But because of the investment made in the state of Nagaland, we are seeing a lot of changes in the rural sector. So, Kohima. As you know, is the uh, capital of Dublin, but we have the uh, what do we call the commercial capital, Dimapur. In Dimapur itself, we have seen two four-lane highways coming within the town, uh, 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 you know, the entire Dimapur district. Now it's uh, broken into three districts, but all this happened within a short span of five to ten years, and these changes we are seeing with our own eyes. Only uh, within uh, only after 2014 we have seen. In fact, in 2003, the former prime minister was by the entire citizens of Nagaland have not seen a four-lane road in the state till today. It was only under the initi initiative of our honourable prime minister Sri Narendra Modi ji that Nagas are today seeing a four-lane road and. The investment in the road sector by the ministry through the special purpose vehicle called NHIBCR, which is the National Highway Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, is in terms of 15,000 crores in the entire state of Nagaland. For a population of 2 million, where the challenges are not just uh, lack of funds for road construction, but the uh, natural disasters that happen here because of our uh, Mountains are fragile, and uh, there are a lot of uh, natural, uh, you know, calamities, and uh, also because you know our terrain is such that the design in the ministry for mountain states like ours has not been in accordance to the need of uh, the region in the past. But even KT Vizo, the principal secretary to the chief minister, ITNC and Power, said this since 2015, the IT department had been organizing the e-summit to promote e-governance culture in the state. 
The response from the youths is huge and they are ever ready to take up e-governance culture in the state as Nagaland is also a state that is most active on social media, he said. The Ilaga submits towards promotion of the secure digital services and investment opportunities in the state. This we have chosen because investment uh, whether it is from World Bank, from Asian Development Bank, or other agencies, and for that matter, even the corporate social responsibility CSR has been restricted so far only to few sectors like education, health, forest, to some extent agriculture. And if you see the CSRC initiatives, Every company, even the IT companies, they want to do only in education and health. Last recently, we had a CSR conclave in which the Honorable Finance Finance Minister came. A lot of IT companies came to Nagaland, but none of them were interested to invest in IT sector. So we were wondering what is wrong with the companies in India? What is wrong with their mindset? The youths in the state of Nagaland, they are as talented as any. Manipur Chief Minister Anbiran Singh expressed his commitment towards bringing equal development in the state and said, if the government has a determination, sincerity and commitment, there is nothing that they cannot achieve or deliver with the support and cooperation of the public. Skills and talent. Depends on the strength of one individual. Biren Singh was speaking as a chief guest of the closing function of the two long two day long third state level Barak Festival 2022 at Sanye Dahari Sports Complex, Kabung Karong, in Senabadi District today. Explaining the need to shift the festival's venue to the Barak River site, the Chief Minister said the decision was taken after considering that there is no need to organize a festival if the government is unable to, to deliver its benefit to the public. Barak to real gi manak ka pora ino hai bishki wakalont. Aikhoi na ngani ba, aikhoi na tauri ba kundi ma practically transformed to bang amna ba, practically implement to bang amna ba kona ba hai bishi. Aikhoi miyoi bhi tha bang. Ibiri ba leadership puna mak kana raka na aikhoi, aikhoi na pang pangkoi ba festival sigi. Manuki Bini Pit, Praza, the people under the festival bank of the meaning of the Kalakan, the Kona Machida, Karong, which is the Koy, and the Sahidi Hong Se, Hong Kiban. Urumani differences, greenery, river, Turin, Gitia River, Machida Kona Kanar, which is the Sigi Turia, the Kangmanumita, Sanapadigi Praza Shidoini. Sigi Turenze Kangunamita, Manipurgi Preza Sidoni. Sigi Turenze Kangunamita, Barak Berina Saliba, Asangi Ariata, Barak River Nakoli, Preza Sidoni. Sigi Turenze Karai de Gilai, Mataka Horiba, Ushi de Gilai, Ishings. Sigi Turel and Asi Celebration, Sikarai de Gilai, Mataka Horiba, Ushi de Gilai. The Mikalaya cabinet has approved sanctioned post for the Shillong Government College of Engineering and the College of Architecture and Urban Planning in Tura in order for the first academic session to start by July next year. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma said 99% of the construction of the buildings for the two colleges has been completed. 
The sanctioned posts have been approved and after the necessary procedures of different commissions and agencies which need to be taken are done, we are hopeful that by July the first academic session of 2023 can be started, he told reporters. When asked, the Chief Minister said approximately 50 posts will be created for the Shillong Government College of Engineering and 77 for the College of Architecture and Urban Planning, Dura. Number one, um, the cabinet has decided that uh, the grant in aid that was given to ad hoc colleges, so there are seven colleges that receive ad hoc grant, uh, and uh, this grant is uh, against a particular post where 75% is paid by the government and 25% by the managing committee. Uh, Colleges like uh, <clears throat> the Wright Laban College, uh, the Women's College, Tikrikila College, Durama College, and uh, Mandraganj and Sora. So there are seven total colleges, and uh, they were actually uh, not receiving the fifth pay commission. So the government has uh, decided that uh, after the necessary homework was done that uh, the fifth pay commission is applicable to them and hence there is an area amount which needs to be cleared so that amount um, will be cleared and uh, the cabinet has decided that today the impact of that is about 11 crores for the last four and a half years. Meanwhile, the cabinet has also approved the grant in aid to seven at all colleges. The CM said to grant in is against a particular post where 75% is paid by the government and 25% by the managing committee. The colleges include the Reed Laban College, the Women's College, Tigri Gilao College, Mahindra Kanch and Sora. He said the seven colleges were actually not receiving the fifth pay commission. The Tribura Pradesh Trinamool Congress President Bijush Kanti Biswas on Wednesday wrote a letter to the Chairman of the Tribura Human Rights Commission seeking an impartial investigation into incidents to of police atrocities on protesters. A team of TMC leaders met the THRC's chairman and submitted the memorandum. On December 12, selection tests for graduate teachers protested by gathering peacefully outside the home of Education Minister Ratan Lal Nad, demanding employment of for STGT candidates, the memorandum read. They were in a small group, it was not like a mob and they were unarmed and at best they shouted slogans, the memorandum read. Referring to the police Lati charge on the STGT candidates and earlier incidents of police action, the TMC said claimed that these incidents are a blatant show of excessive power. It is the right of the people under Articles 19 and 19 of the Constitution to protest peacefully, the memorandum stated. This right is also enshrined under Article 20 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Further, Section 130 of the Code of Criminal Procedure directs police personal to use as little force and do as little injury to person and property, the memorandum added. The Mekalia State Government and the Apollo Delhi Health Networking Foundation have signed an MOU for the first cancer care project in Mekalia. Health Minister James Sangma called it a moment of pride. He said the government wants to give a focused approach, not only in terms of treatment, but also in early detection. This project is being done on a pilot basis, starting from East Kasi Hills. Cancer is a key health concern in Mekalia, and combating it requires strong cooperation across the entire health sector. This initiative will be a boon in strengthening and improving the capacity for early diagnosis of cancer through awareness and mass screening, thereby helping to provide comprehensive treatment. The vision of the Cancer Care Project is to improve the quality of cancer care in all dimensions by harnessing emerging technologies. There would be a screening for cancer at the health and wellness centers and a follow-up of susceptive and confirmed cases. ASHAs to senior health staffs will be given training programs for skill building. Screening diagnosis and treatment will be carried out at NCD clinics with a pathology lab at Civil Hospital Shillong. The pilot district under the project is East Kasi Hills. Uh, yes, in Upper Shillong.
Yes, this is the Ayush and Wellness Center which we are starting at the BRDC only. That's the Biodiversity Resource Development Center. And um, this is uh, to bring in all the best practices of Ayush and um, try to integrate that with our traditional healers and uh, how we can um, you know, um, bring about a place where our traditional healers can come and um, also interact with Ayush practitioners, uh, practitioners and um, learn a lot of new things which will help in building up capacity and also will uh, th there'll be a mutually beneficial exchange of ideas and knowledge. So I think that this uh, center is going to play a very very important uh, role. It will be a, a meeting point for many of our tra uh, traditional healers and uh, it's, it's a you know with the uh, view of looking at how we can bring about traditional healers and give them the kind of support that is required because uh, this knowledge that they have um, is passed on from generation to generation and we must make all efforts to preserve that and to document that and make sure that this uh, knowledge and this practice does not die. It's intrinsically woven with our tradition and culture. About 17 opposition parties on Wednesday staged a walkout from the Rajya Sabha blaming the government of not holding a discussion over the December 9 clashes along the LSC between the Indian and Chinese troops at the Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. Congress Rashtriya Janata Dal, Aam Admi Party, MDMG Communist Party of India, Marxist CBI Janata Dal United, DMG Trinamool Congress and Telugu Desam Party were among the 17 parties that walked out from the House during zero hour. Leader of Opposition and Senior Congress Leader Malikarjun Karje, among other opposition leaders, raised the issue to hold a detailed discussion on the face-off when the House assembled for the day and Deputy Chairman Hari Vanch allowed zero R so that the parliamentarian could raise their issues. As the opposition's demand to hold a discussion on the India-China border clash was not allowed by the chair, the 17 parties staged the walkout. Speaking to the media outside the House, Congress MP Pramod Diwari accused the government for not holding a discussion on the issue. देश की सीमाओं की सुरक्षा का सवाल है, संप्रभुता का सवाल है, सारा अपोजिशन, सत्रह पार्टियां हैं, सेवेंटीन, हम सब ये चाहते हैं कि हम पूरी शक्ति के साथ भारत की सेना के साथ खड़े हैं। परंतु यह हम बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकते कि चीन जब चाहे तब हमारी सीमा की पवित्रता का हनन करे आक्रमण करे हमारे पास एलओपी कल दिखा रहे थे लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन हमारे वो सारे डॉक्यूमेंट हैं जो पहले के थे और बात के हैं जो निर्माण हुए हैं वहाँ और जिस तरह वो आए हैं ये सरकार डरी हुई है सच्चाई सामने नहीं आने देना चाहती इसलिए वो तैयार नहीं है कि चर्चा हो ऑल द सेवेंटीन पार्टी वांस डिस्कशन ऑन दिस ऑल द सेवेंटीन पार्टी आर स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड द इंडियन आर्मी